the States was um, Zapila versus Progre. A great win for Progre. I know you two boys picked him to win that one when we discussed it last time and I was kind of edging towards Zapida, which didn't turn out to be very successful in terms of a boxing pick. But yeah, good performance. I thought that Zapida won the first round, but everyone after that, Progre just grew into the fight and he just overwhelmed him, didn't he really? Um, Josh, do you want to kick off on this one? Let us know what you think. Well, yes, the Rougarou is back in town. Mm -hmm. Shout out to Regis Progre and Jose Zapata as well. I like both of these guys. They actually tweeted that. Yeah. Unfortunately, you got someone had to lose, but I uh, wanted to see both of these guys win in actuality. But I've had the luxury of seeing uh, Progre live as well. Exciting fighter. Knows how to put on the show. I was disappointed in the fact that none of these major networks picked up this fight, seemingly. It's like, come on, this is a disservice. I knew this was going to turn into a very well-rounded, very high-level matchup, and that's what it was, and it was exciting throughout. We got to see Regis Progre with his head movement, his offensive style, pressing <clears throat> forward, uh, bringing it to Jose Zapata, who fired back with his shots. As mentioned, I, I think Jose is definitely a, a top-level counterpuncher, but when he needs to mix it up, he'll, he'll throw shots in there and he'll lead uh, where where it's applicable. So Regis Progre, I thought he showed that he's still one of the top-level guys that is out there. He's still hungry. I think that's the thing that stands out. He is a hungry fighter. Mm -hmm. he, he hasn't gotten that bag in the way that he, uh, he probably feels, and he's not giving up. He hasn't settled down yet. This is a guy who was in, uh, he, of course, lost his home in Katrina, and he lost the home in the floods in Houston some year back, some years back. Uh, so okay. this is a guy that is still hungry. He hasn't let his foot off the gas, and it's a travesty that, and it may be a promotional thing, that we don't have this on one of the major networks. This was an excellent fight, you know? Uh, so... Hopefully this opens some eyes and we get to see Regis back in the mix there with some uh, some of the other top guys and get him on one of these uh, one of these high level cars to headline because he brings it every time. Anytime I've seen him, he hasn't let me down in the fight. Uh, same with Zapata. He I think that he's the type of guy who can bounce back from this. He's gone through uh, some adversity before and I don't think he's done yet. He just ran into Regis who's still hungry and looking to secure that bag. So. Uh, shout outs to both of them. They put on a great fight that I think uh, that more fans uh, definitely should check out if they haven't. And hopefully we get to see both of these guys in near term. Yeah, most definitely. Um, Alex, you want to add your thoughts to that one on Regis Progre? And to Peter. Yeah, I believe I had said, you know, when it comes to the junior welterweights, I don't think there's anyone that's really sticking out so much. Um, you know, one way for you to do that is to fight someone else that they say is on your level and to prove otherwise. And I think that is what Regis did. Uh, yeah. Josh hit on it, you know, the, the head movement. I mean, man, I mean, that guy's head was like rarely ever on the line. Um, you know, as the fight went on, his jab started landing more. And uh, Zapata was lost. He, he couldn't deal with all that movement. He couldn't figure out when Regis was going to, was going to land, going, going to throw. So, you know, there was a couple of times where Zapata was landing a counter jab. And as the fight went on, he got more confused and and more, uh, you know, his confidence was just sapping. And uh, we just got the stoppage. That is a huge statement. So it's funny. Um, I don't think I've spoken too much on this, but I'm not a huge fan of box rec ratings when it comes to the division and such. <laughs> and uh, now Regis is number one. I know Josh it's that. Ford. I know it's not. Okay, you know what I'm saying? So it, it's funny, but uh, yeah, Regis is the hot guy right now. Um, you know, he's supposed to face Jose Ramirez, who mm. was actually due for this shot instead of Regis. But uh, Ramirez Ooh. is getting married, so he uh, uh, decided not to take the fight. So, uh, you know, I rather see the winner of Teofimo Sandra Martin, because um, that is also supposed to be a second mandatory, which uh, I think is a little weird. Maybe. Maybe I just don't pay attention enough to see how that mandatory works. I know what a vacant is supposed to be. You defend against your, uh, you defend against a mandatory after you win the vacant. But I just I'm unaware of this second mandatory. 
but I think that's more sexier. And I think it's more <laughs> interesting. You know, Sandor had the win over Mikey Garcia, <clears throat> like what, one, two years ago? Yeah. Teofimo, former unified uh, slash franchise, wherever the hell that is, champion at 135, uh, making trying to make noise at 140. So, yeah, Regis is now becoming the man at 140. And there's a lot of players there. So, a lot of yeah. great matchups. And uh, hopefully, regardless of, of uh, promotional ties and whatnot that we get, we continue to have great matchups such as this Regis versus Cepeda. Yeah, I think um, progress has been out in the wilderness, hasn't he, for the last couple of years, essentially, after that Josh Taylor fight. So he's, he's probably sprung back up with that win. And there's some really good fights for him there. If he, if he fights Zepeda, then Ramirez, then Tio, and then gets a Josh Taylor rematch, <laughs> and, he, and he wins all of them, imagine that. That'd be incredible. That'd be some going. <clears throat> I mean, he might get, he might take a few losses if he does um, meet those guys. But if they can all face off against each other, some really interesting fights out there over forty. Um, so yeah, really, really uh, intrigued to see the future. Uh, and I do like um, Zapata as well. So hopefully he gets some in with some decent fights as well in the near future.